Hello, my name is Z Bendisi. In this video, I will walk you through how to sign up and order groceries through Instacart. Instacart is a food delivery service where you can order your groceries from your preferred markets online. To get to Instacart, go to www.instacart.com and click the green Sign Up button. There are several ways to sign up for an Instacart account. You can click the Facebook or Google buttons to automatically sync up your Instacart account with your Google or Facebook accounts. You also have the option to continue with phone in which you enter your phone number and will receive a text with an activation code for your account. Lastly, you can enter in your email and create the account manually. You might get a pop-up telling you that you could get unlimited free delivery for orders over $35. This is an advertisement for the Instacart Express service, and if you go forward with the deal, you will be billed automatically if you don't cancel the subscription before the two-week trial ends. If you do want this deal, click Try Free for two weeks. After this, you will be brought to the Grocery Instacart page. The first thing you want to do is update your address so that it is accurate. Click on the zip code in the top right corner and enter in your address, assuming that yours isn't the one that's already there. By clicking the Instacart logo in the top left corner, you will be brought to the home screen. There are buttons at the top that can be used to filter stores for you to browse what you're looking for. For example, clicking on EBT will show you which stores near you accept EBT cards. Each store has under it the earliest possible time a delivery can be made. When you click on the store, you will be brought to the store's main shopping page. This page has an overwhelming amount of information on it, but let's start with the banner at the bottom of the page. In the case that you have a Stop and Shop card, you can enter the number here to receive the same services you would if you were in person at a Stop and Shop. If you don't have a card, click the X in the corner. There will be various deals available through each store, and some of them will be time sensitive. Take the yellow banner here. If you order within the time frame here, your delivery on your first three orders will be free. By scrolling through, you can see the various available items divided into rows. You can add them to your cart by clicking Add and see more options by clicking the gray arrow or the green View More button. On the View More page, you can filter items by brand and by dietary preference. If you are looking for something specific and you can't find it here, you can use the search bar at the top or scroll through the items on the left column to filter results. Also in the left column is the useful Deals button which shows you which items have coupons that can be applied to them. Click on the pink button under the item and the coupon will be added automatically. You do still have to add the item to your cart, so don't forget to click add as well. Buy it again will show you what items you have purchased before, so you don't have to spend extra time navigating through the site trying to find something you buy on a regular basis. The last button in the left column is for recipes. Here you can browse recipes and by clicking on one it will show you the time it takes to prepare, the amount of servings, and the calorie count. You can favorite recipes by clicking on the heart, which will make them easier to find in the future. Each recipe will show you the ingredients required as well as ingredients you need but might already have. You can add the items to your cart by clicking on the green button. If you don't have some of the ingredients that are under ingredients you may already have, you can add them to the cart by clicking the circle in the corner of each item and then clicking the green Add Items to Cart button. Note that doing this will bring you back to the store's homepage, so wait until you are done to press the button. Below the rows of items are the list of ingredients, instructions, and nutritional information. You can come back to this page by going into Recipes, then Your Recipes. When you are finished shopping, click on the shopping cart in the right hand corner. You will see your price as well as the individual prices of items you added to your cart. You can change the amount of each item by clicking plus or minus, add specific notes about each item by clicking preferences, which 
you would do if you had special instructions for delivery, or remove an item by clicking the trash can button. When you are done, click go to checkout. This will take you to a page where you must add your address, select a time for delivery, priority will cost more, but your food will get to you faster, write any delivery instructions, add your phone number so the deliverer can contact you if needed, and add payment method. Before going on to the next page, on the right hand, you will have the option to add a promo code or a gift card. Do so if you have one, then click continue. You will have the option to tip the deliverer with the percentages pre-calculated for you. Click place order and your food will be on the way. If you have any questions or issues using Instacart, let me know in the comments. I can also be reached on weekday mornings at 203-729-3299 extension 1016 or by email at zbendisi at indnw.org.